today is the day that I graduate. But hold up. Wait a minute. Virtually. Uh, fast forward, it's midterm season. I bomb my midterms. Not bomb, bomb. But when you want a 4.0, like, anything less than an 8 is like a bomb. So, I bombed them because I was stressed out trying to study for the GRE test. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> this is not fair. Like, the devil will not get off my back. Like, what does he want from me? Like, leave me alone. And he just kept coming, kept coming. Fast forward, I was able to apply. I was able to apply to all the schools that I wanted to. I applied to all the dietetic internships that I needed to get into. I wanted to get into an, a school that had their master's and the dietetic internship that I was looking for. And baby, on April 6th, on match day, <laughs> I matched to Baylor University. Yes, your girl is going to Waco, okay? Like, I gotta go. And I was so excited because during this time, okay, we just came back from spring break. Well, we never came back from spring break, but that's neither here nor there. All I knew was that my faith was secured. I prayed on it all, and I left it April 6th was match day, and I matched. And that was exciting. I'm gonna leave a little clip because you know, the little ghetto, because we all at home or whatever. That was fun. This button. You ain't the one that, you don't do nothing. Look, you don't eat the video. <laughs> no internet. Ha ha. Ha ha. press anyway. Hold on now. Just, you can just, 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 just press the motherfucker. And then you think break down, they're going to start. You need to give them some money. What do you have to press? Ha <laughs> ha. Tell them what up to press, press, please. Just press. Just tell you guys. Yeah. Do we, 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 we're waiting go. on these test results. Here we go, you guys. Um, whether she positive or negative, but. Um, <laughs> <it's a> <laughs> I am pleased to inform you that you have been appointed computer match to Baylor University. And then, like, I was kind of, like, down because I'm like, man, like, I got into the school. I can't even go out there. What is in Waco? I ain't never lived by myself. What is going on? Who is going to pay all these bills? <laughs> like, who? <laughs> who? <laughs> who can pay this rent? <laughs> Car note. <laughs> Lights. <laughs> Electricity. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lights. Water. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Help me. Mayday. Okay. So that's literally what's been going on in my life. I felt kind of bad because over the years, I distanced myself because I know what type of person I am. I'm a very, I'm a very focused person, but it's not hard to distract me. So like I've sacrificed like personal life, whether it's been like dating or friends or just even social life, like going out. I became an introvert. I don't even know how long it took me to turn into one, but it sure did. It sure did. I sure did. <laughs> but um, I, I was literally like li literally living by going to work, going to school. Like there was nothing else out there for me. I was not interested. Like there was nothing you could have told me. Well, besides that one time I went to that summer walker concert, that was good. <laughs> but I did give myself breaks, like, you know? Like you have to have a mental break somewhere. You cannot literally be all work, no play. Otherwise you will go insane. Um, so that was that, so I've graduated. Oh no, since then I've graduated. Oh, they're crazy. <laughs> since then I've graduated today, i.e. I was supposed to be ready, but you know, I was discouraged again because I'm like, what is this virtual, virtual graduation? What you mean? Who signed off on this? I'm going to call the police. But no, it was very sweet. It was very intimate. Um, I got to spend it with my, um, my parents. I thought I was going to miss it because... The, the tradition I'm trying to start in my household is, like, every time we get good news, we all get together. But the devil, once again, 
my daddy's car when he started this morning, so we had to go play Captain Save Him and go get him. And then, like, while we were out there, they announced my name and all that other stuff. Well, they didn't announce nothing. They showed on a little slideshow. But nevertheless, nevertheless, <laughs> I graduated today. It was, oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was the devil. <laughs> That was the devil. He don't like when nothing good happens to me, like ever. He just, he don't even mess with nobody else. Like he always trying to figure out what I'm doing. And that's exactly why I don't speak out loud anymore. And if I do, I'm in prayer. Cause I feel like that's sanctified. Like you can't even touch these words, sir, okay? I'm on a direct call with the Lord himself. Yes. Um. <laughs> But no, he, we got to spend that moment together. And it wasn't the way I wanted to. But at the end of the day, I had to be grateful. Because there are a lot of people who do not even make it to graduation. And I know everybody's bummed out because of this virus and etc, etc. But at the same time, we're not looking at the brighter picture. Like, this is the first year in, like, history of, like, mankind since people started going to school and institutions. Well, since people started going to institutions in general. That we haven't had any deaths. Like any like college or even high school related deaths, like you know, like those weird accident stories, like coming back from spring break and oh, such and such got into an accident, it was fatal, or three people passed away in the car and only one survived. Like those weird stories like that, we were spared. That like people are actually with their families right now, and I understand like it's not how we want it. Like we wanted to go out. Especially for my PV kids. We wanted to go to Grooves. We wanted to go to the address. We wanted to go to Prospect. But, you know, um, I mean, that just was not feasible at this time and age, this time and day, this time in the world. So I had to be grateful for that. On top of that, um, I'm a first generation college kid, so it's like, man, Rona, you owe me. You owe me, sweetheart. I don't even want you to leave the city without paying me a visit. Like, I want to square up. I want my round. I'm ready to go to Wolfwood. You owe me. But on the bright side, you know, I'm, I'm excited to have been done now. Like, I can say I'm done now. I ain't got no final. You know, I don't know what the GPA is like tonight, but... I'm sure she's standing tall. I'm really like even more salty because it's like I sacrificed my social life. I sacrificed, you know, relationships with people. And it's like, okay, now that I'm done with school, where y'all at? Like, I know I dissed y'all or I have to stop showing up, but like, can y'all come on back? Public service announcement. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. Here's my number. <laughs> Hit my line. I'm not distracted. You're not a distraction anymore. I'm ready to accept you for who you are for the time being until I go to Baylor Boo. I'm going to Baylor Boo. I'm going. I'm so scared. If anybody watching this has family in Waco, pretty please send me their contact information. I don't know where to live, where to go. It's not like we can even go out there right now because everybody's still look low key and halfway quarantine so it's like even if I went down there there's not much for me to do I just want to go see how life is down there like I just want to walk the campus and like everybody was like oh why are you going to go back to school you just graduated you, you ain't even fresh off the stage blah 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 take a break and it's like sis breaks equal children turmoil confusion I'm not no 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 no, I feel like school for me has been like my saving grace. Like, I feel like as a child, it was already understood. Like, we weren't the richest, we wasn't the poorest, but it was always understood that I'm going to school because I want a better life. So I'm not going to finish school until my life is on the highest level that it can feasibly be on. Okay, like, I am not, I'm not stopping. So my husband is going to have to meet me in this master's program or during this doctorate, whatever. He's going to have to cross paths with me because as far as I'm concerned, the price keeps going up. Uh, and I don't want no build a boy. I don't want no, oh, he just had a trouble pass. 
Well, it's 2020. The future is here, okay? So, sir, if you're not mentally stable, if you're not mentally competent, okay? Let me, let me, let me say that word. Stay where you are. I do not even want to hurt your feelings, okay? I don't want to do that to you. So you just stay where you are. What am I talking about? Um, but no. And I'm even more sadder because it's like, man, we're supposed to be moving out. Like, I feel I feel sorry for like the first year college kids that are trying to go to college and they can't even have that whole experience to themselves. Because I was super excited and sad when my mama dropped me off when she moved me into my dorm and cranked that car up and left me. I thought, you know, that was a form of child abuse or something, but I feel like those experiences that you experience on your own make you stronger. And I'm not saying that this new age, these new age kids are not going to be stronger. It's just they have, they're missing a lot of real life experiences. And I feel like go that attest to our character. And I really want them to have that. Um... I think you're a little too thick. I need my eyebrows done <laughs> and my nails. What's happening? I ordered my graduation outfits, never came. They they keep getting pushed back. Like, what's going on? So I was like even more salty because it's like, oh my God. everyone's posting their graduation pictures. And I'm over here dusty. But it's okay. Because you know your girl. I showed up anyway, okay? I'm going to drop that picture somewhere for me. Okay, okay, I didn't come to play with you. And then of course I cried. Big cry baby, I cried. I didn't even cry because like I was like sad. I was crying because I was, I was sad. Yeah, I was crying because I was crying because I was sad. Like I really wanted to walk across a stage like and then people keep saying this is the new normal. No. <laughs> like, no. You're telling me the last time I crossed the stage was high school? No. Run it back. Run it forward. Cash it out. No. Governor, whoever. Whoever. <laughs> no. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go to these schools and build my own stage and walk across them. You're going to give me this moment. Shine, okay? Like I know what you thought that you said, but you wasn't talking to me. Now, let's go. Okay. You was about to go find that. Hey, I'm gonna stick about the crowd. Now, makeup is fun and all, but I'm over it already. Like I really don't even like putting on full faces, but today is a day that I'm going to be in my act and I need face, like I need to be serving. Okay. Like I usually just like to slap on the eyebrows. Slap on the lashes, slap on some lip gloss, cause you know it's all real juicy. But today's a celebration. I want to know how everybody else is quarantined, been because uh, she's gonna come in here and mess up the camera, cause she's so nosy. Oh, that was another part of my life update. I moved back home. I've been here for like three weeks, four days, and 72 hours. Like, help. Baylor, airlift me. <laughs> Assist. Ooh, I'm gonna start it. It does already. It ain't even be nowhere. Oh, y'all might be wondering where I'm going. I'm going to my, one of my dear friends. Her baby's birthday party. And it's turning two. Shout out to Lodge. Stop growing, man. Stop it. You're making us feel old. We're going to have a quarantine birthday party. You know, safe social distance. Six feet. Four to six feet. Yeah. Who is that? Is that me? 
Yes, honey. Have y'all been addicted to TikTok or no? Be honest. I've been low key addicted. I just haven't made any like video videos. I keep saying I'm gonna make videos, but then I ain't know how to do all that. Like that's for them other kids. Like from kids behind my group. Like anybody between the ages of like 12 and 17 right now. Y'all is y'all are weird. Like y'all took y'all only weird because y'all didn't have to take technology to the heights that y'all did. Like ugh, calm it down, pipe down. Let us learn it first. Y'all keep advancing it. We haven't learned it. Stop. Cut it out. Pause. Slow it down. But now I'm gonna look real cute. I'm gonna look to choose or whatever. I don't even know how this video is gonna turn out because I'm recording on my phone. Ooh, the ghost in me is trying to come out. Alright. We're not even done, so don't judge. I told y'all in my first video. I'm a little like this with makeup, like half and half. Like, stop looking. Turn the lights off. No. I don't know what I'm doing, but it comes out immaculate. Immaculate, okay? Okay, cover girl. L'Oreal. Mac. Morse. Morphe. Hello. I need my own palette. <laughs> no, girl. I need my own palette. Oh, my God. Anybody else mama sign, up, sign them up for stuff that they did not even say that they was available to do? Like, what makes you think I didn't have plans? Like, what makes you think that I was going to sit in this house all day and wait on your beckoning call? Because last time I checked, I was a busy woman. I got things to do. <sighs> Blending out. It's like a whole arm workout. Good God. Did I get it all? should be dramatic because I'm graduating or just keep like natural beauty because you know we've been in quarantine for about 40 days and 40 nights I'm thinking simple and cute because I think we're gonna be outside and no I'm not even gonna set myself up for something like that the gnats I actually invest in a YouTube camera but I don't know which one to get. They're all so expensive. Help. Oh, that was not the point of this video. The point of this video was to follow your heart, like follow your dreams. You are not an overthinker. And you might just be an overthinker, but it's for a purpose. Don't let nobody discourage you into not thinking. And wind up not thinking and falling into something you shouldn't have been in in the first place had you had thought. Um, something that I do for myself. Um, every year I, I give myself a word. And this year my word was faith. Because I never doubted my faith. It's more so like a, being a preacher's kid. It's like you've always just gone to church. But like do you actually have a personal relationship with God? Like, can you honestly say that you know God for yourself? Because it's something about when you try him for yourself. And I, ever, like, that's my favorite quote that old heads, I mean, not old heads. <laughs> the old lady gang used to say in the church, all the old souls in the church, is like, when you try him for yourself. Mm. So when you try him for yourself and you come out and he shows you who he is, man... I can't even describe the experience or the feeling of the reassurance of knowing that your faith is going to get you through and you don't have to second guess or doubt anything else. Hooch. Get into it. Get into, tap into your spiritual realm because reality is going to fail you. 
time and time again. Like, you have to believe in a higher power. Even if the higher power is yourself, believe in something outside of what's in front of you. Because not everything that is that is seen is in front of you. I don't sound right. It's not getting across. I don't feel like it's hitting y'all the way I wanted to hit y'all. So I'm gonna leave it at that. For those who got it, you got it. For those who don't, rewind it and listen to me. <laughs> Hear it back. Run it back. Okay. No longer on ghost status. Okay. The ghost has left the building. We are now in action. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep losing the train of thought. So yeah, <clears throat> my word was faith, and I knew I chose the right. I knew I cho chose the right word because it's literally like this whole year has been trying on my faith, like literally targeting my faith. And it was nobody but the devil because I said it out loud without even being in prayer. So he, he you know, he, him was just, uh, what you call that? A fly on the wall or whatever. He thought he was stopping something. But you know when you're walking in your purpose because you're gonna upset the devil. Like you're gonna ups upset him. He is gonna be angry with the fact that like you're still like out there being optimistic and you're still moving without fear Whew. that's like my favorite um tattoo if i was to ever get one it would be the faith over fear one but i wouldn't know where to put it and who's gonna stab me to put that on me nobody so <laughs> that's why i don't have any tattoos because i ain't got time for you want me to stab you want to stab words on me you can't just get a pen I don't get it. Like, I barely I, I barely held it together for my nose piercing. Like, help. Help me. So, yeah. Give yourself a word. For my people in school, it's hard, I know. But you need to build a rapport with your professors. And if you don't have a rapport with your professors, you need to be and um in cahoots with somebody in your class who has the same goals as you and is, is open to cooperating with you and like studying with you and just walking with you like i was a transfer student to pb the same people i walked in with are the same people i just crossed the stage with and we literally have been with each other through the thick and thin spending the night on campus Baby, whatever you can think of, we have done it. Like ordering pizzas, staying up till eight, nine o'clock, staying, spending night on campus, and getting up to go to our eight o'clock class. Like what? We was on it, sleeping in cars, like carpooling from Houston, carpooling from Katy, carpooling from Dallas. Like we have just, we've been through it all. Like I know we are tired, and I know that, like you know, we really wanted this walk. But we just grateful more so to say that we made it because our department may be small, but it is not easy. Like, not even a little bit. So yeah, um, you're in school, keep your head up. The finish line is near, okay? Do not quit. Salome will be on your neck. Don't do it. Don't do it. For my people who aren't in school, pick up a trade. What are you doing? What are y'all doing? What are you doing every single day? And even if it's nothing, ask yourself, why are you doing nothing all day? Are you cool with doing nothing for the rest of your life? Like, that's how you want to live? And if that is, if that's the case, then cool. Do you, boo? But if you're thinking because you can't afford it, at the end of the day, the life we want to live, we can't afford. But with an education, with connections with people that you meet in higher places, because if you live in the hood and you expect it to be a fashion designer overnight, you could probably achieve that. But how long will it take you to achieve that? If you were in school or yet put yourself in situations to meet people of a higher ranking, because you can't sit in the hood waiting for an executive to walk up to you. 
Sometimes you gotta leave the damn way. Or on the way. Hello, I'm here outside. Assist. <laughs> Help me. Um, for my people that are thinking about going to school, I would like for you to ask yourself, why not go to school? And if you can give yourself 10 reasons as to why you shouldn't go to school, then I guess you validated why you shouldn't go to school. But I don't think that people should go into it thinking, oh, they can't afford it. No, we can't. But you still find a way to afford your other nasty little habits. That adds up. The way I see it, we're born into this country already in debt. So run it up. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just go ahead and do what's going to make you comfortable and what's going to get you to the life that you actually want to live for yourself, not for anyone else. So, like my dream is to reach the highest rank possible. Doctor, if that's getting my PhD, cool. I can do that too. But I want to live somewhere where I got to tell Jeffrey to bring the car around. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do that from my own house. I'm going to make the best of this degree. I'm going to go out here and make a household name for my kids to come. I would like to be the person that breaks generational curses. And my immediate family, I don't. I never wanted to be a stereotype, but I guess me wanting to not be a stereotype made me a stereotype in a way. But you don't have to feed into that. I'm more so excited because now I have a degree under my belt. I get to return to normal. I get to literally. It's like it's like being in school gives you an opportunity to reinvent reinvent yourself again. Like everyone remembers when we graduated high school. Cool, that was fun. Like, whoo, grandma came, you know, mama came, you know, it was a barbecue outside. Woohoo. And then we first got to go live on our own, like in school, whether that was out of state or in state, but just a few hours away. Like, we got that, that chapter was like defining for our character. Now, me going into getting my master's, it's like I'm going to a whole new city, a whole new campus like a whole new environment of people like i'm like terrified but i'm just as equally excited to get down there and just start this new chapter for myself like i might even change my name like i ask myself who do i want to be do i want to continue being this person or do i want to add to this person and become a better person i think school is important and if you're not in school get a trade or learn a trade the beauty business is booming honey okay Every single day, every single hour on the hour. But if you're content with just being you, make sure it's not at the expense of somebody else because that's just as terrible. Because I feel like our parents are burdened with us in the sense of they feel like they can't let us go. But I guess since I don't have kids, I don't understand what that means because if I had kids, you gotta go, like, you can't be in this house not doing nothing. What are you doing? So, no. That's my little life update. I'm gonna finish my face. Slap on these lashes, because it's already long. I don't even think I'm gonna edit this, like, it is what it is. You either gonna watch and learn, or learn to watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is why I am single. Oh, another thing about my life update. I, I kept with the whole natural thing. I did. I did that. I started last August was when I just stopped getting heat on my head. But before, or putting heat on my head. But before that, I had gone two years, two, three years without a perm. So this is year four, no perm, but year one, well, it'll be a year in August, no heat. So your girl, 
I've been loving it. Like, I know people dread wash day. I love wash day. I love it. I'm gonna start back doing a wa rice water challenge again because I did that for two months. I recorded it, but never uploaded it. But um, it was literally like, it was transformation. Not transformation. It was everything in a bag of chips for my hair. Like it made my hair thicker. Like my hair was already thick, but it like made it like strong. Like strong thick. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm start back doing that. I even, I, I'm have, I have some goodies lined up for my next hair, hair, like wash day routine. Cause I have updated it since the last time you've seen me. This one I got going on up in here. I did a perm rod set. And it is so cute, y'all. It is everything. I mean, but like, I didn't wait for it to dry, so like, it's a little messy. But you get the point. It's still cute. And that's on pyro. You can't tell me nothing, okay? Because I'm a graduate. And on top of that, guess what? I'm one available. Like this, like so. Girl, I missed you. Where you been at? And I never judged Issa for talking to herself in the mirror because it be like that most of the time. Nevertheless, if you didn't get anything from this video besides me rambling, believe in yourself. And at the end of the day, count on yourself like be the push that you need be the push that you want from other people because you you may or may not get it from other people and instead of stalling and not moving just keep going because if y'all stop i swear to god like you're gonna be mad at yourself like you're gonna resent yourself for not pushing through and persevering so just do it just do it. Go for it. Even if the goal is like not even realistic. Like even if it sounds like something that came out of a movie. Even if it did come out of a movie. You can do it too. I mean just be careful because you ain't got no stun double dummy. But like you know it's whatever. Dream. Achieve. Go for it. Because worst case scenario it just doesn't work. But at least you can say you did that. Like you tried that. Like. You did everything in your power to make an effort to achieve. Now, if you don't make it, then that's cool. At least you can get on yourself about, you know, achieving something better. Or there's always a way around everything. So if you can't get it the first way, try it again. And then the sec after the second time, if you don't make it after that, reevaluate. Go back to the drawing board. But do not quit. And even if you don't believe in a higher power or... You believe in physics and leprechauns and unicorns? That's cool too. Do that too. It don't even matter. Just do something. Be proactive. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Because the only thing that's coming to you is the devil coming to distract you. That's what's coming to you. I mean, the Lord only going to come to you once or twice. But, you know, after that, it's nobody but the devil. Get up. Get out there. Or get up and go to that backyard. Or get up and go into that corner. Get up and go into that closet with a piece of paper and write down what you want. That's it. Write what you want. And on the other on the other side is write how you're going to get that. And then your third assignment is to just find someone who closely, if not matches that, and contact them as them to mentor you or shadow them or something it's like a it's a method to everyone's madness find your method otherwise you're gonna go mad i know y'all want to see my hair take my nose ring out because
because it be looking dirty and it don't even be looking sparkly after you do your makeup. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh, I'm gonna dress it up, okay? Like, listen, I was tired. I'm gonna get it together. Like, it's not gonna even look like this. Don't even look. It's gonna look something like this. But don't look. <laughs> I'll be big.